Okay. Uh, got my nice uh, Rathalos. Is it Rathalos? I think so. Rathalos plate. I do want to check my equipment though, because I think I'm still, I still have the Toby legs unequipped, and they do have more defense. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm conscious, which is a, a feat. <laughs> I'm sure you'll live. Yeah. Right, Kadachi legs. No, Kadachi belt. Got myself Rathian mail for my chest. Courtesy of Sarnai. Um, yeah. Who I assume will be joining us at some point. But, uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> might be a little early for him to be home from work, poor guy. Yep. Is my stream title and stuff showing up properly? It says I'm a fight that mountain part one. Perfect. That's yes. what I gather we are about to do. Yep. I have a special armor set I made to be helpful. Oh? Well, there are certain uh, skills that you don't really ever use. Because, like, uh, there's no real reason to, but you can get skills that boost the damage of Ballista and Cannons. Right. And also, um, there's one that uh, lets you carry things that are heavy, like Cannonballs, faster. Mm -hmm. hmm. I see how that could be useful. Yeah, since you have to load the cannons yourself. So yeah, I, I, I did I watch did. Uh, like, um, not really a guide, but a uh, like, like a clip of it. More, just to... No, uh, it, it was a kind of cartoon parody thing. Oh, but I got the gist. Watch the age. Yeah. Productions. Yep. Yeah. That. Yeah, you got the gist. <laughs> Quadra Cat. Also, I spent my rare bug to give my uh, cat the ladybug wings because they're cute. Which is probably a bad idea, but eh. I mean, what else were you going to use it for? Answer was, not much. Yeah. Might as well make your cat cute. Post a new quest. Assigned one for the history books. Oh yeah, so for context, uh, the reason it's like a, a big historic thing is because it's classified in, as an Elder Dragon, and in Monster Hunter that basically means you can't fucking capture the goddamn things. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, is it worth using a voucher on this? Not really. Um, there's not a whole lot of stuff that, that... Not a whole lot of rewards for this quest, I don't think. Okay. Presumably I have to start and then you'll join once the cutscenes are done. Yeah, I believe that's the case. Yeah, joinable after departure. Let's go.
Who is she? Lenore. Tony go. Ah, Tony is ready. Yeah, Tony. Let's go, Anne. Oh, Yuna, me. Hmm. Me. Sarke. La. Moa. Aha. Nishiki. Iho ga yu miru da. Rashi mo nimiku. Furi. Shirune ga uru tsuzu. She comes. I really like how much they've managed to make it not look like an animal. Yeah. I'm on my way. Uh, should they be doing cannons or ballistas? I just went for the nearest. Uh, you can do whatever. Um, cannons do more. Um, you can aim uh, the Ooh. cannons by moving to the side and pressing circle to push them. Uh -huh. Which people don't uh, necessarily mean. Uh, but you generally want to wait for for cannons to be fully loaded, which is five shots. Okay, fire cannon. Target the things actually right here. No, put that down. <laughs> so NPCs will like do runs to cannonball ammo crates and load cannons. Um, even if it's not visible to you, they run on like basically separate <gasps> rules. Give me that last one. Yeah, fire! Fucking Wiven. Yeah. Yep. Get back here. <laughs> oh, my little cat. Bless him. I'm gonna fucking kill this thing. It's a dead fucking wyvern. Fucking Barnos bullshit. Ooh, he's getting 
He's getting angry. Don't try to load the cannon again. Oh wow. He's about to fire string shots. Uh, or I'm gonna... I'm going to get to do it. Where am I supposed to go? Don't worry about it, I'll handle it. Okay. I got the one shot blinder. I actually managed to get some damage on one of these fucking... Load the cannon, cat. Don't stand in the fucking ammo pile. Oh shit, that platter's almost like that. I think he's about to break free. It's broken loose. There you fucking finally go, cat. You finally loaded a cannonball. Good job. Oh, that doesn't uh, sound good. Yeah, he roared. If you're up top on the, the uh, wooden barricade, yeah, you want to catch a hitching post. Right. Ah, this. Yep. 
Hey, we're on it. Yep. Ow. Yep. Oh, we attacking this thing. Yep. I should like probably put the fire on first. Oof. And or not get magnet all over me again. Oh uh, yeah, I didn't get one of those. Well, thank you for uh, breaking one off for me. Oh. Really? We're just jumping down there? <laughs> yeah. Okay. There is another magma core down here. Ah. Oh, and a uh, ore deposit behind it. I should stop standing so close to you. Yeah, I'm getting in trouble. I also brought a, a big weapon, like, in game and shit, so that I can help this go faster because it's a bitch and a half. Oh, fragment. Gotta get me damn mats. Oh shit. I might have got. Was that in its mouth? No, it's in the crevice of its back. It just stood up. Um, so, yeah. We're gonna climb the motherfucker. Like we did at the start of the game. Fun times. Follow the chicken. Or not. Uh, oh, yeah. By the way. Oh. You're in a different place. Did you hear that? Yeah, it's fine. I, just, I went the wrong way. This is not climbable. Okay, this back wall is. giving me the uh, pro transporter skill which helps me move cannonballs faster. Fair enough. Because Kuliaku, uh, it's uh, Kuliaku gloves also do this. Uh -huh. Um. Uh. Oh yeah, this is its head by the way. I guessed that. Evening. Yo, Hello. how's it going? I am not too bad. Becky, but why are you... Why are you fighting the mountain? To hug the mountain. To embrace okay. that mountain. Becky, I, I know you and a certain friend of ours have, ir you know, irreconcilable beef with one Immanuel Kant and his notion of the sublime, but this is a bit much. <laughs> also, by the way, that was that was optional. We just went and bopped him on the nose for no reason. <laughs> Oh. Well, this getting back off his head is fun. Um, yeah, but still, I it's it. How the fuck you get to the next thing from here? Whatever. <laughs> so you just jump off. Yeah, I, I think that was 
probably optional. Yeah, but still, Becky, the, as I said, I I understand you have beef with Can, but this is ridiculous now. I don't have beef with Can. Can's amazing. No, I do have okay. beef with Can. Where hmm. do we go? I actually like, don't know. It's been long enough since I did this mission that I'm lost. <laughs> like you're weird. actually, you are actually destroying the notion and metaphor of his idea of the sublime. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> Where is it? The last one is under us somewhere, is it? Yeah, I guess. Oh, Probably. right. It's standing up. Oof. So By the way, he, he can turn around and spit on us. Uh... Oh, it's getting back okay. on all fours. Yeah. Um, if, if you can find your way to me. I'm right above it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, f I, am I now... forgot that it was standing up. It was standing up, so it was actually in a different position, and that was awkward to get to, so it's fine now. Alright. So, um, also, I have to ask you to. Um, you did put insurance on the DGC house after I burnt it down, mm. right? I don't no. think they let you put insurance on things after they get burnt down. I meant before, I meant before, you did put insurance on the house, right? I mean, no, you invented the fort. fucking thing. <laughs> it's just a tree fort, you nerd, that we couldn't get that insured. The fire cover alone would be ridiculous. Yeah, I'm just- For I'm good just reason, because you burnt it down! <laughs> Jerk! Oh, this map, McCaw, I see. Yeah. It, it was in a different horizontal position. Like, once you, uh, once it's on all fours. So. <laughs> Ouchie. Oops. Yep. Uh, so. Is there an ore deposit down here that we should be mining? I mean. No. There are, I think. I, I don't see one. Fucking, I can't get a whole combo off without trying to set fire to me. There's some over on this side, at least. Are there? Right here. Uh, yeah, they're red, so they're a bit, they're a bit hard to see. Fragments have dropped over this side. Uh, oh, yeah, I see. Ooh, there it goes all that. But yeah, Devin, after the last episode came out, I set fire to the DGC house. Yeah, I saw. I mean... I don't know, I don't think you lot was really gonna be using it now, so... We're gonna be using it! I mean, it's the Discord server, it's... Haven't you looked? It's the Dead Runner Clubhouse, nerd! Stop calling me a nerd, you're a bigger nerd than me. Yes, Jake's one and... One. Are we just stuck in here now? I don't know. No, we can climb up this wall. Uh, we ticked to destroy the magma cores, so we must have done something, right? Yep. Yeah. I think now we get a special visitor. Ah. We need to wait for him, though. Um, he might actually be coming over on the other side. Uh, so just leap off, on and off this this giant mountain. Dragon with all consequence. <laughs> As you do. <laughs> it's amusing to watch the uh, icons desync with the map as Zeromagdros moves. Yep. Where even are you? Did you go back down the hole? No. I went around. Ah, gotcha. Whoop. There you are. <laughs> Look at my sword! Uh, mostly I'm just enjoying that helmet. It's... And the pants as well. The pants are quite good. Oh boy. They're the so Dante pants gone... and the chicken head. It's a very good combination. <laughs>
Yeah, we're basically just waiting. Like, our time limit was to do extra damage to Zara Magdaros was getting to that, uh, that barricade we're approaching. Okay. Right. Oh, mining! What was that voice? That was my oh, mining voice. I don't know. It probably sounds horrible on mic. It's the capitalism voice. <laughs> it's basically the remnants of my Mr. Snaffleburger voice. Confirm! Oh, I can't do it anymore. I've got the throat. No. Rip. Confirm. Consume. Obey. So this is the charge blade, and I like it, but... That's a blade? Yep. Hey! Jerk. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were friends! This is... Uh, in, in Japan, it's called the Charge Axe, because it turns into an axe. It but does indeed appear to do axe. that. But, and then the axe that turns into a... a Sword is called the switch blade in Japan, but we got them backwards for some fucking reason. Yep. Translate is try. They try. That's all I can say. Are you on the head? No, no I got warped. Ah. Uh. Oh, here we go. My turn to get warped. Both of us get warped. Ah. Because it's time to meet the big spiky boy! Holy! He came up yeah. quick! Yeah! Oh wow! Pretty though! That's Nergigante! That's the flagship monster! Oh! I. That's a good start. So, is this a wyvern or is it a dragon? I can't tell. It's a dragon. It's an elder dragon specifically. Okay. But dragon means it has four limbs and wings. Fine? Yeah. I know I'm supposed <laughs> to be the kind of... I did all the damage for you, Becky. <laughs> Thank you. Because <laughs> I wasn't getting very far with that. I didn't expect it to just go, yeah, no, you're done! After like, fucking 15 seconds, but okay. That's what an endgame weapon will do on that fight. That is a good monster design. Can't argue against that. This is true. So, what are you lot's thoughts on the whole, like, square splurging on all the Final Fantasy games on the... On the Switch? I mean, yeah. the interesting question is, like, where's FF8? Yeah, We've had definitely. some thoughts, but, uh... Yeah, also they're not Switch exclusive ports, they, Nintendo just got to announce it. Yeah, like no, they're coming yeah, to yeah. Xbox One as well. Yeah. It'd be interesting to see if they sell any. Uh, I really don't have a good idea of who buys Xbox. Yeah, yeah me neither. <laughs> I don't think anybody has at this point. It's just like PS4 and Switch, and that's it. That barrier does not look very sturdy for an attempt to stop a mountain. Yeah. I was gonna say, like, I remember seeing 
I think it was on Twitter, I saw somebody post a thing where it was like, you know, here's Sunset Over, you know, it's Sunset Overdrive on discount for like five or six quid. And I just yeah. thought, man, I remember yeah, when yeah. that was yeah, a game yeah. people were talking about for, for once. That was a good, like, fucking three weeks. Yeah. And from the way things seem to be go, from the way things seem to be going, I imagine those three, those same similar sort of three weeks is going to happen exactly to that Cyberpunk twenty whatever it is game. Now that that's got The Witcher clout backing it up, unfortunately. Oh, I see. I mean. I'm only just saying it not just not just because it's like, well, the people in charge of it have totally shat the bed and there's been for my money, I think a billion pieces about what the game should do, which just makes me think um there's people who put way too much thought and stock into Cyberpunk than I ever did. But like it just didn't look like it was gonna be breaking any sort of serious mold. Unless I was, unless I was somebody who remembered who played the board games, which I don't, and it seems like RPGs, and not that they haven't always cared, but it seems like in a weirdly specific way, certain games are, you know, playing a bit more to like that crowd of board game people than before. So I think I so. Know. Like the the cyberpunk franchise as a whole has in the past been quite interesting. I gather, but so. Um, the license is passed around a lot. Yeah, also, uh, it's always been kind of troubling in different ways. Um, and also just like, uh, it, it's been, it was, it's tabletop, not board game, primarily. Oh, sorry. I just, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. It, a, I feel like a lot of fond memories people have of old tabletop stuff is the ideas that their fucking groups had that were much smarter than the ones baked into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Because the that because the people who wrecked the people who got it who probably were into those tape top games they probably not just dissected the works of gibson and stevenson god help them and all these other people they like really got into like all the thoughts and the meanings behind it and the people who made it were just like yeah we just like you know we want to stick weird you know weird wires into our brains so that way we can hack the internet i got any further than that yeah yeah, I, I was always kind of tenuous about Cyberpunk, the video game, uh, because it is The Witcher uh, devs, and like they, because I'm still working through stuff with Sam, uh, mm -hmm. through that series with Sam, and I'm, he insists Witcher 3 is really good and works out kind of some of the problems with things. But right. I have not got there yet. <laughs> I was I was just about to ask, how are you finding the Witcher games so far? The first one is bad. Yeah. Because like it's <laughs> its entire first chapter is pointless and ends up in a literal witch hunt where the most moral choice you can make is killing an entire village. <laughs> course as you do casual gen you know casual slaughter and all that yeah it, it was uh and then also it's poorly game designed because i got to an area in the second chapter that's just a swamp and randomly there is a one of the toughest monsters of the game that just fucks you up immediately and I it randomly see. spawns ah i see <sighs> But he, you know, as you're saying, 
you know, Sam swears that the witch. It sounds like it's one of those series where it's like it didn't get quite. They didn't get it quite right until the third one but people who were into it swore there was some really interesting stuff going on in there yeah and apparently it's like a, a fixture of polish culture or some bullshit which is a damning statement about poland <laughs> yeah but um i don't suppose if you roll back upgrades you get the materials back do you yeah, you do. Oh, okay. If you, if you look at the thing, it says refunded materials. Ah, like the, so the listed, nice. Yeah. Um, there are some upgrades which you can't reverse, but the game will warn you about it. Um, they're, they're basically the one, if you look, I think, I don't know if you have any yet, but they're basically uh, upgrades that on the tree are listed in like little more ornate boxes than, than usual. Okay. Um... I don't think I do because I've still got like I've only got like the first four stages of the tree at all. But yeah. I just realised I could uh, upgrade my basic hunter's knife to the fourth tier, so I might as well do that. Yeah. Rather than the third puke puke thing, which doesn't give us good. Although it does have mm. poison damage. Yep, and the poison damage is basically just free extra damage on top of whatever damage you're doing. Well, that's sure a set of... I mean, we did pretty well out of that mining on the back of Zora Magdalus. Yeah, the Dragonite yeah. Ore is... Uh, it first shows up on Zora Magdalus. I believe it's one of their rarer materials you can get in the next zone um from mining mm -hmm. it 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 gets tossed around like fucking nothing in high rank but yeah for here it's it, it's kind of a, a better low rank option that means i can yeah. upgrade out my puke uh, hood mm -hmm. oh yeah also um i'm not sure if it will interest either of you two but um yeah, I've been watching a LP of Devil's Third. Oh god. Yeah, like I I only at the time when people were reviewing it, I only saw like the first couple, you know, the first stage. And it is it's dumb, but it's like the best way I could describe sort of the thinking behind it is, I think I said it on Twitter, it's like, Itagaki is like Kojima if he didn't have the aspirations to make, like, a game that was trying to say something. So it's just all the really silly ones. Yeah, that sounds about right from what I've seen of that game. Right, There's shall we do th this Great Ravine mission? I think it's single player. Okay. Because you're about to unlock the next uh, zone. Okay. Oh well. I shall just feed myself and then off we will go. Mm -hmm. Gotta have yeah, the food energy to run around. Yep. Mm. Well. Yeah, as I was saying, Devon, it's like, um, it, you know, it's it's just re it's really stupid from the get go that the first level, like, it's all a bit, it's all based around this idea. Well, it's a theory. I forget what it is. Of all the, you know, all the satellites in that cover the, that cover the world get knocked out of space and everything gets as a result of an EMP an EMP wave so there's a lot of technical stuff that is rendered really useless and the only person who they you know the only person who 
has you know who is probably the best to stop it is this big hench guy named ivan who the best way i can describe ivan is like imagine duke nukem without the humor but the same level of this guy is meant to be really cool silliness does that Honestly, make sense that sounds like an improvement yeah. Yeah. Did that sound like, like Duke, Becky? Duke, Duke Nukem without the humor sounds like an improvement to me. Why are you giving me um, used L stick to move prompts? Game? Um, Becky, how would that? So, how does the idea of like this as the character being this six foot Russian guy who has Japanese tattoos all over his body, wears aviator shades? And um, what's the other thing? No yeah. shirt. <laughs> yeah, no shirt. And the first time you see him, you're introduced to him. He's playing a really mean drum solo in his like special prison in Guantanamo Bay. You had me at drum solo. <laughs> <laughs> this is... this pitch is not getting worse. I'm sorry. It went to drum solo. Oh yeah, and also in his idle animations when you're hiding behind cover, Ivan decides to light up a cigarette. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, the, the thing is, most of my knowledge of Devil's Third is from fucking clips from the Game Grumps playing it, which is like, the Game Grumps making fun of it is probably the best way to consume that game. Because it's not, oh, like, pretty. It's not good. Yeah, that's the Coral Highlands. That's pretty. That looks like it'd be an absolute fucking nightmare to find any monsters in, <laughs> or even track <laughs> them visually wrong. when fighting them. Uh, you're, not, you're not exactly wrong. <laughs> I mean, I'm not into Game Grumps. There's a bunch of other guys who I feel do it just as well, but. Yeah, you're you're absolutely right with it. But I, mean, um, I just mean specific, like an LP -er who is going to make fun of how stupid that guy is. Yeah, and how, yeah. How self serious the game is is how to experience that game. I yeah. feel. Oh, that's yeah. a big burp. It's a bird, Becky. No. It's a burp. That's New Zone's Apex Predator. Right. What's it called? Legiana. Ah. We're finding a hole. And there's somebody with 80s hair here to pick us up. Oh, God. It's I mean, also... Not so, much, not so much 80s hair as in her yeah. 80s hair. <laughs> People just don't want. People just don't want to let that stupid decade go. <laughs> the hair was fun. I'm sure the hair is fun. But it's just like, God damn it, people! It's coming close up to like thirty years now. I mean, for crying out loud, Sounds of the Sixties is still on BBC Two every Saturday morning. Like, if we're talking letting decades go. Yeah, no, I, I, I would agree with you, but then it's also like, it's the BBC and with the way they've, the way they've gotten increasingly more Tory over the years, it's just like, that doesn't surprise me. But then, of course, but then Becky, that you forget, we both are forgetting that there's flipping BBC4, which, when it's not showing documentaries about, I don't know, Venetian, you know, Venetian monarchies, or you know, the how to make God, how to make the best looking garden. They're showing old Top of the Pops episodes. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. And you just look at it, and it's like, damn, the past was so tacky. There's a bit of a straight of a different atmosphere in this camp than there was in <laughs> Astera. You mean the, the fucking the third fleet master just 
lounging here smoking. Yeah, she's chill. <laughs> also, you have to come back if you want to, like, one of the quest lines you can do is just coming back to this place and talking, <laughs> talking to all the fucking scholars, basically, yeah. after doing a quest for one, you do another and another and another and they're all just like yeah we're gonna we're gonna get you some of the good stuff and all of them like hook you up with booze after you do a quest with them it's just like fucking <laughs> this is this is the party base i guess instead of research because fuck obtained new gear defense charm one so now you have a new class of gear that I, I think the smithy at Astera will be able to make fairly soon. But... It looked like that was saying that I'd be able to fuck around with it once I got back to Astera. But, uh... Yeah, but like I think you need to do some extra stuff on top of just okay. that to have the smithy able to make it. So I guess now what we do is go outside and go to the Coral Highlands. Yep. Off we go! You can also fire off an SS uh, SOS player and I could join you. Thank you, I shall do that. Oh, okay. I am also, if you're also curious as to what I'm doing, I'm watching the uh, Nintendo Marathon which is basically a bunch of different like Twitch retro gamers play and showcase different consoles and games that aren't like under the Nintendo banner, which I think is a neat idea. But it's also just like, oh, hey, I haven't seen this before. Like, yeah. I just see that my man Deep Freeze 2K is playing the Apple II GS version of California see? games right now. I cannot use an SOS flare right now. No. Oh. But, I mean, that might just be that I am still at camp and need to actually get out into the wild. No, I don't think that's that's true. You're, you're on a story expedition, which sucks. Uh, that's a shame. That's return to headquarters, that's not where I want to go. It is this way. How do I get down? <laughs> oh, there is it. There we go. Just fucking jump off. Okay, video game. Sure. Yeah, no fall damage. <laughs> Only dreams. <laughs> <laughs> also, I didn't know this, but there's actually a fucking... a way to climb back. Like, I didn't know this for the longest time, but there is a way to actually get back up there. Because I just never needed to, because I could always teleport up there with with wing drakes. Uh -huh. You can teleport to known camps when you're not in uh, in combat. But there's actually a physical way to get up there, which was nice to realize. Um, this is a surprise. Um, Devon, hmm. as the guy, as the person I know who really likes the Golden Sun games, did you hear any whispers about people hoping that there was going to be something Golden Sun related from Nint in the Nintendo Direct recently? I mean, fucking Golden Sun fans are always hoping there's something for them in anything Nintendo. <laughs> to be fair. Like, uh, you're okay. desperate motherfuckers. <laughs> no, because I was just... Uh, I'm just asking, because somebody posted... Somebody is talking on Twitter, is talking about how, like... Pe you know, people were actually expecting it, but it's like, I don't know if they realize how hard Dark Dawn bombed, and how... 
the hate there were hate essays on Japanese sites about that game. That's impressive. Yeah. I mean that game is like not great, but also is it's not fucking like bad. It's just like more Golden Sun. Uh. So like whatever. And it's got more different lore because they couldn't just go like and then everything was fine after the golden sun flared up and caused alchemy to come back. It was like that's not how you make a, a sequel. <laughs> <laughs> the way you make a sequel is and then there were black holes that fucked up the world and yeah. drained it of all its mana and something was fucking the kids of the past heroes decided to go check it out. Yeah. Where are these footprints, flies? Find me the footprints. Oh, they, they might are. be up top. Yeah, they're up a ledge. A dinosaur with some eyebrows. Alright, well, I think I'm gonna pop off and you lot enjoy the monster hunting. Yep, we will. Have a good night. Alright. Cool. Same to you. Am I also, to hunt it? Um, you can. You just had to cite it for this. Can I now send off a flare? No. Okay. If it were possible to like send yeah, off a flare, um, I will to... just guide you from here because I'm also treading through this area. You want to climb up those vines? I'm leading you to the campsite that you want to find. There's only two campsites in this area. Okay. Um, and finding the other one is one of the objectives. Yes. Um, so you follow that path up. Um, climb the next set of vines as well. And when you climb the second set of vines, there's going to be a mining outcrop to your left. Gotcha. So take advantage of that. Okay. I have mine. Yeah. Oh shit, that's um, uh, that's the monster. Yep, yeah, uh, Titiaku likes to run around here. Um, if you go up to the right, there's this wall. There's a big wall with a bunch of vines on it and a ledge up top that you can climb. Over to the right. Oh, gotcha. You might run into Legiana up here, but nope. it's fine. Oh shit. I got rawed out. That's bad. I fell off the vines. Yeah. Maybe I will fight this fucker. <laughs> I mean, it's up to you. Watch out for its stun. Actually, it might have been. Was it a roar or did he flash you? Because he got stunned. He might have flashed me. Okay. Yeah. That, that's his thing is to. to stun people and monsters with his, uh, his photophores. Is there a way to avoid being stunned? Uh, don't get in his, his cone of flesh. Okay. Oh, fuck off, Legiana. up check yeah 
he does that, he'll just like, I'm gonna flash you, but not from here, or from here, or from here, or from here, and then just like not stop jumping back until you stop moving towards him, and it's just like, you stop though. I just wanna punt, hunt you. Stupid monster. Yep. Um, I don't know how well the Sword and Shield's guard would do it, but other things that guard can block the stun, so might be worth trying. Oh, shit. Probably not if you have the chance to get out of it, though. Yeah, I'm going to be quite close to him most of the time, so... charging an attack. Stamina. Oh no shit, I ate before we did the crevasse and didn't eat again. <sighs> yeah. That's Flash me, aren't you? I don't know. We're gonna have to do something else. He's just trying to run away now. Um, if you're if you're looking at your map and the border on it is red, you're in combat. But if it's white, whatever monster is was picking on you has decided to fuck off. Oh shit! I might <laughs> Yeah. By the way, this monster is uh, what you need upgrade materials for your Jagger's weapon from. making sure you know this, but when you do the back step, if you hold a different direction, you can aim it like a solid, like, 70, maybe 90 degrees? Yeah, I haven't got the hang of that one yet. <laughs> We got preliminary patch notes for the next Final Fantasy XIV patch, and people are going nuts talking about balance changes and what they mean for the meta. That will happen. Yeah. Try. 
Uh, this is gonna suck. I somehow dodged that. <laughs> you did a Superman dive. A what? A Superman dive. It is when you are in danger from a monster, you are running and you do a jump to dodge away from them. Uh, it has special invulnerability. Oh, cool. Basically, the entire time from the time your feet leave the ground to when your fucking character stops skidding on their idiot face. <laughs> nice. It's one of the most reliable ways to dodge, like, Elder Dragon super moves. But it only works when you're running away from them, unless you get a skill called Leap of Faith, which lets you do it towards them. Oh god, I need to heal. Cat? Anything? Oh fuck. There we go. Burn the habit into use of using mega potions and not normal potions. Uh, I just need to set the menu, I think. If you got used to the radio menu, that would be good. I can't remember where they are on the radio menu. Well, that's part of the process of learning, is setting up your radio menu so you don't have to think about it. I mean, I'm still going to have to learn it. Limpin, got him limpin. Back here. Fucking two legged dinosaurs with a limp just running vertically up these vines. To be fair, he also does have grabby hands. That's true. He just doesn't use it in like the chicken. Oh, he went that way. Come on. What? 
What? I was directly behind him. Yeah, but you were too close. I actually don't know what happened there. I think it's just a glitch. Maybe. That worked. No, it didn't. Oh, for fuck's sake. There's not some mechanic where, like, in its nest it can flash you from behind or something. There it's... might be reflective objects. Is the only thing I can think of, but I never fought him in any arena where that was relevant. I did it! Hooray! <laughs> and a bone bail. So if you make your way back to zone 8 on the map Apparently I'm in zone 8. No, you're in zone 7. Oh, yeah, sorry, yes. Oh. Apparently Handler marked good campsites. So I'm just follow this. Whee! Yeah, you take him long enough. <laughs> but she's just like, well, I'll give you a hint. I was fighting a thing! But yeah, if you climb up the, the vines on the right side of that flat area with the Vigor Wasps, and then hang a left once you get there, there will be a tiny hole you can crawl in. Eventually. Ah yes, this is where I found the thing. AC. Up we go. Uh, that's a mon. Yeah? You have the ghillie mantle. You don't have anything else equipped. That's true. Also, I should think. It's coming for me, help! <laughs> Put the ghillie mantle on. It will lose sight of you. Yeah, it was working out, like, how I was gonna press all the buttons I needed to to do that while not getting chomped. Aha! Uh -huh. What are these, like, dragon weed things? They're wigglers. Oh, right, like the hat, I see. Yep. In order to catch them, which you need to do for the quest to get that hat, you have to crouch, because they're intimidated by anything taller than them. Aww. 
and then you just jam them in your net. But yeah, that's that is the other camp in the Coral Highlands. There are no other camps in the Coral Highlands, so nothing to worry about on that front. Effects of the green metal have worn off. In that case, I shall remove it. Uh, yeah, you didn't attack. <laughs> so now I have to get back to the campsite. Or to the research. You can just return. Return from expedition and travel, or travel via world map. Eh, return. And a scale. Do we have to fight something for the uh, camp as well? No, it's just a delivery quest. Monster Bone M and Titiaku hide. So the Rotten Vale is the fifth area or fourth? Fourth. Fourth. The Great Ravine was just an interstitial, interstitial thing. Okay. <laughs> Materials from a monster called the Power Lumi were just the tickets. Okay. Oh man. Glider mantle. Yep. Right. That will be for the next quest then. Is that one also going to be a single player quest? No. Okay. It's going to have the regular rule of you can't join until the host has seen all the cutscenes. Okay. Is there somewhere to eat in the research base? Nope. Fucking. You can eat at camp after you yeah. get there. Uh, do I want to do a first crafting list? Signed ballooning problems.
Oh, dear, dear, dear. There's apparently a chef outfit for the handler that costs three dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Third worst ideas. Right then. Uh, you should. Oh no, I guess. Probably. You have to find it first. You have to find it first. Okay. Uh. I am following some footprints. I don't know if they're the right footprints. I don't know if they are. I guess we'll find out. They're going a different way oh. than TT, so... Picked up some trail. Yeah, I think you're finding... You're on the right path. Run and try to hit the vine. It'll automatically do it. Only if you run off in at least vaguely the right direction. Yeah. Which, I am sad to say, has posed a problem in the past. I've hit a cutscene. Yep. It's behind me. What? <laughs> it's a Paolumu. Hi, Sarnai. Right, it's not just an orb. Hi, Sarnai. Uh, shall I SOS for her? I just joined, you don't need to. Okay. Yeah, it's Puff Boy. In the Grand Dragon Quest tradition, it's time for Puff Puff. I almost got him with a sleep toad. Oh no, shit! I almost got him with a sleep toad and then I walked into the sleep myself. Yeah, don't! I didn't don't know! Don't do that! Stick around that long. Me <laughs> and Sarnai is just like Becky! It's alright, the cat woke me up. Yeah, oh toads. My God. Toads with uh, status effects will just stay around for a few seconds. Also, yeah, his. his he likes to run. This uses the same skeleton as uh, Puke, so he has a lot of similar moves, but instead of uh, poison, he does the suck. Yeah, we kind of figured it was work to blame for that, Sarnai. Don't worry, I ran around with the chicken head and did a lot more damage because I had heavy artillery. What are you doing, bird? Wing Drake just phased out of existence. Lovely. Good, good video game that code. Oh, 
Nope, oh, he's off. There he go. He's heading up to the area the uh, Vicar was. Yeah, Puff Boy is a dipshit. Um, Wrong turning. Where are you going? <clears throat> yeah, you, we can climb up here. Yeah, Kishala is awful. He ran a fucking stop it. Oh, for fuck's sake, every time I get close to him. You idiot. Uh, flash bar. Oh, it's yakking. Yep. Somebody mounted it. Yep, I did. Nice. I fully expect I fully expect CT to fucking flash him and knock me out of the fucking sky. Yep. Yep. That happens. Ah, insect life, I see. Yep. I have no idea how to make that call for you, sir and I. Um I'm gonna be playing for a half hour more at least. And I think we're gonna get to the rotten veil today. By the way, spore puffs are silly. Because sometimes they'll just make monster loot track you in the middle of combat. Right. Is that what they're for? Also. Oh. <laughs> was that you or was that. Uh... That was me. Flash pods are very nice. <laughs> Sorry, that was me. I honestly couldn't tell with that one. I thought that was the tail. Ouch! Jackass? Mounted him again. Oh dang it. <laughs> Probably explains why I didn't. What's the best policy to do when, like, the enemy is mounted? I mean... Do extra damage if you can, um, but generally try not to do any of your big super flashy combos or super he damage heavy combos, because like that will be better served by doing it when it's on the ground and not before the mounted person has a chance to do the, do the mount finisher. Damn it. Stop screaming. <laughs> He's off again. Yep. Do we go up? Uh No, it says this way. I know Yeah, I know where he's going. May flies, say. 
fucking knocked me out of the air with your bloody <laughs> glaives. <laughs> God damn it. Hello, friend. By the way, when he's got his his idiot face inflated, he can spit little mini tornadoes, and they suck. Um, also, they can he can and will just fucking do some dumb bullshit, launch over to your area, and then flatten you, and it sucks. Something fell off him. Yeah, pod. Oh my god! Okay, he's limping. I'm gonna grab this material. Yep, same. So he's gonna fly off his ooze nest. I'm following you. Uh, I'm gonna put my glider mantle on. Because we. Oh, is he coming to nest here? Or is he going to his... Yeah, okay, he's going to his actual nest. Oh my god, I missed the fucking vine jump. Flies is still staying this way. Oh, here he is. Yeah, I, I know. Hold on. Oh wow, those are bigger than I was expecting them to be. They are mega bombs. Or not. Completely fucked up. They wake up. Whatever. By the way, he has a special move that he can do in this area. Okay. Uh, when he's inflated, so... Yeah. He gets mad at you. Runs off, does a little loop outside of an area where you can hit him. And then charges back in with a... With a vengeance and beats the shit out of you. Like, he just slams the hell out of you. Like this! Oh! <laughs> Boing! Yep. Oh my god! Will you let me actually attack something? No. <laughs> Check. Fine, I'll shut my sword then.
This monster design is absolutely fucking ridiculous. Yeah. Look at it! Why is it made of jelly? Hey, there we go. Else to pick up around here? Nope. Just this thing I thought. Are you shooting at me? No, yes. <laughs> Okay. Should I prepare before... Do I need to do anything before this mission? No, it's basically just going to be another expedition. Okay. So, talk to this person. You do probably want to eat once you get to camp, though. Yeah. It's not like I'm short on resources. To Rottenvale. The mountain fighting went well. Hi, Colleen. Yeah, the mountain fighting was not terribly difficult. Uh, especially as Devin did all the hard work on Nergi for me. <laughs> yeah, Nergi Gante showed up and I did like two combos and he fucking bailed. Because I brought the final Adogre on charge blade. <laughs> so it was... it was fine. We can worry about actually fighting that fucker some other time. Yeah. 
if we get to that point. Oh, is that goes. very late in the game? Yeah, that's like... That's like... Quote unquote, huh? like... There's a bunch of optional shit after the storyline. Okay. But that is part of the storyline, is fighting Ner Nergigante. Because he's the flagship monster. Also, I no, love that this I'm, airship I'm is, like, the f <laughs> it's just attached balloons to one end of a boat. Yeah. I mean, it was probably attached to both sides of the boat, but then they were just like, well, we crashed this way. We're probably just going to build around it being vertical. It's a lizard. Great Gyros. Yep. Like Great Jagras, but uh. But a Gyros. But with more paralysis. No. Oh, fun. And what's that it had killed? That is a dead Titiaku. Okay. That had fallen down here. Right, I have eaten. Yay. What the fuck is my fucking armor situation for Lance build? Give me guard. Guard! There we go. Oh man, I love Dark Souls. Is shit just falling out of the air and landing down here? Yeah, kinda. Fun. Mm. Strange rut. Yep. Yep. A spiky, spiky boy. Turn to base to hunt it. Can I? Um, yeah. Can you then join it? Yeah. It, it basically when they're like, "Hey, you can hunt it now or hunt it later." If you decide to return on an expedition, it just becomes an assigned quest. Cool. I am returning. We shall do this together because I don't even want to think about getting close to that. Yeah. That's fair. He didn't say to greet Gyros, though. No. Which could have been done pretty easily. But, yeah. Um. Handicraft charm. Still only blue. Uh, I'll keep it that way.
Right. Um. Oh yeah, you have the tail reader safari. We. If you go talk to the the person downstairs, they will hook you up. Okay. <laughs> the tail reader yeah. safari. There's no real point in killing monsters in expeditions because you'd get a fraction of the materials from it uh. that you would normally get. Um, Another system that I don't particularly want to have to think about. I mean, you just send cats on quests and they automatically gather stuff after a certain number of your quests are done. That's it. do I have? I have so many lances. How do I get back to somewhere that I can actually start the quest from? The handler is on one of these platforms. And you can talk to her to do quests. But also want to make this point, if you hit the attach pad and then hit square, you pull up the world map. Oh, that's where it is. Gotcha. Yeah. I forgot it was on a different button. Post a new quest. I'm going to use one of the silliest weapons that's not actually a joke weapon. Also, shit, isn't the fucking Autumn Festival starting, like, today? Oh. Uh. Where? Should the thing be under a sign? Because it's not there. It might be optional, then. Can't find it. Do I have to actually go back and cite the Jiros first? Maybe. Because my, yeah, my thing still says depart on an expedition. Hmm. I probably have to at least cite the, the thing before, uh, yeah. Um, before it becomes available as a quest. Despite the fact that the handler told me I could fucking die, uh, bah. Yeah. Am I so sleepy? Yeah. Oh. Hmm? Next week is when all the events are. Okay. One of the... Like, occasionally... Hi, sir and I. One of the things is that they have occasionally had, like, uh, festivals with mm -hmm. different, like, outfits you can buy or and craft. Um, but also, they bring back basically every event quest ever. <laughs> Yikes. So, like, it, it's, like, 
Holy shit. Like, there's a shit ton of stuff coming up from a. Oh, fuck me. Discovered yeah, Radaban. <laughs> Let's. Yeah, that's the Radaban Alley. Right, okay. Um, but yeah, like, there's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, forty something quests? Wow. Event quests that are going to be available from the 20th at, uh, 5 p.m. for me to the 4th of October, to roughly the same time. It, there's just a shit ton. With the X's that get marked on the map, is that just to tell you where the monster's going to? Yes. Okay. So I should... Not hang around here then, because that's probably... Oh, not those X's. Oh? Those X's are are blocked passages right. that you have not unlocked through various means. Stop trying to sumo slap me, Sarnai. <laughs> that's rude. Stop um, giving me clues for Radaban. I want to find something other than Radaban. I will say, um, if you head down into zone 3 and hang a right and go down that path, that's where you're going to find uh, Great Gyros. Sort of down here-ish. Yes. Where it starts to get yellow and foggy. Yep. Fun. Well, those are Gyros. Yep. If I attack the Gyros, will the Great Gyros come, or do I need to just find it? No, uh, you need to find him, but he's not hes not too far outside of that area, like, that is his zone. Is that little, like, misty area with the loop. He well, doesn't find really footprints, go so... Uh... Yeah. Because you're basically in his nest. Right out. There we go. But it is also giving me an objective to hunt a Radaban. a climbable wall. Did I? Yeah, if there was vines on it. Oh, yeah. It's climbable. They aren't the most obvious vines ever.
Also, don't forget, you can just hit options and return from expedition. Yeah, the Rotten Vale is a cool locale, but I would not say its monsters are terribly great. No. Great Euros is a see. punching. Yeah, no. Great Euros is a probably. Uh, Great Euros is a punching bag that can like paralyze you, and that's kind of annoying. Radabon is like fine. <laughs> and then a dog run is uh just not good sometimes. But like other times, he, he's he completely not a problem, and mostly annoying because he won't drop his fucking gem. Alazak is cool, but I... Odogron is also bad. We, you haven't seen the dog yet, but um, it's one of the, like, with Behemoth, two monsters in this game that inflict bleeding. Ah. And the bleeding is fucking annoying. Right, hopefully now we can do the friggin' wheel. <laughs> the fucking the meat mission is awful. Me. See? Radaman roadblock. Yep. There we go. Who wants to play? You mean I get to play the video game? You get to wow. play the video game. You probably get to play more of the video game than I do, to be honest. That's basically it. Perhaps this is fine. Oh. Uh, do you need to ready? Or can I just... We're just loading. Yeah, you can hit to go whenever. Is all three of us ready? Yeah. Sorry, I just had not seen it click. Let's go. Of course, I need to eat. Stop that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even sure what you were doing, but stop it. I was poking Sarnai. 
By the way, my shield is a fucking a steering wheel. Look at this. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, that's a flag. Right. Yep. Chugga chugga chugga! <laughs> ah! I'm gonna mount him! Oh my god. By the way, environmental hazards. Yeah, no kidding. By the way, Sarnai is kindly blowing up bits of Radabon for you with a bandit mantle. So if you see the yep. giant gold shiny on the ground, pick it up and you can sell it later. Cool. Hey. Did I miss a monster this big? It's magic. <laughs> Where the fuck are my mega potions? Ooh. We're getting a little bit of lag. What? How am I on its freaking back? <laughs> Magic. Don't question it, you finally got to mount a monster. Satisfying. I feel like this would be a fun area to play in with the slide affinity. Skill. Yep. Whoa, hello. Ooh, that was a solid hit. And I cut its tail off. Oh wow. That's cool. No kidding. I'm gonna call that. I'm gonna 
some chirp and yeah, me too. <laughs> and then go crazy again. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, fuck off you. Right, I can do this off the walls here, huh? I assume you're- Chugga 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 chugga! Oh! I sleepy. Thank you. charge strikes are actually immune to damage and not because they're like <laughs> oh don't do it thank you Devin. Becky! <laughs> Turn about his fair play. You weren't there when I started doing the move. There we go. I didn't get, like, a single paralysis proc that entire fucking fight or something. Either that or it happened while you were already mounted. Which, whatever. Chugga chugga chugga! God, I love runnable walls! Oh, I didn't actually... Search the tired bones. Fuck these bugs up! Somebody charged into me. of the Rotten Vale, you have to kill Legiana, and then to get, uh, and then at the bottom of Rotten Vale, you have to fight a Duggeron, and then you find more Zora Magdaros, um, evidence, and then you have to go find some people, and then hunt Diablos and Rathalos no. to prove yourself to the first Bivarian. Uh, am I ready to descend into the depths of Rotten Vale? Should we do one more and then call it for the night? Yeah, that's the... That, you do that. It's a cutscene. Okay. And then we'll be like, you need to hunt Legiana so we can go down to Rotten Vale. Okay. So we can do that.
Yeah, low rank is not super long. Cool. <coughs> Does low rank end with, like, finishing whatever we do with Zora Magdaros, or is there... Yes. Okay. With Fight the Mountain Part 2. Yep. Fucking airship. <laughs> Hello. Yo. Oh, lots of birdies. I've actually been so busy, I didn't- I completely forgot what weapon Becky was using up until I started watching the stream. Yep, sword and shield. It's starting to have, like, a vague idea of what to do. Very vague. When I'm not in a complete state of panic. And like, I'd, I'd say, we'll deal with Nergi when we get there, if we get there, mm. because that's fairly deep in the high rank, and I don't know if your nerves will last you that long, to be honest. I mean, at the moment, you are carrying me pretty enthusiastically, so... Yeah, but I mean, like, once we get to, like... I would say probably Pink Rathian, which is the first major uh, point of high rank, is um, kind of a, a thing where, like, it'll stomp you pretty hard if you're not ready for it. And past a certain point of you just sitting in camp and me and Sarna handling everything and you not actually participating, there's only so much we can carry. Yeah. High rank. There's none. The meme is that low rank is your like twenty hour tutorial. So it's just like FF thirteen, right? <laughs> Like I, like, I kind of like the low rank, high rank structure, but I kind of wonder... I, I, I kind of wonder if it would just be, like, better if it just started at high rank, but, like, the first, like, couple zones are not that hard. And then things progress towards there, or from there. Yeah, I don't know. I guess the problem is, is that you'd have to make, like, more zones and more monsters to do that. Yeah. Right, I'm going to post the Legiana quest. Okay. Um, I'd imagine they they save a lot by effectively just having you play through the game twice. <laughs> in terms of monster count? Yeah. Uh, what do we want to bring along? Fucker's weak to thunder, right? Oh cool, I currently have Thunder Attack. Thunder will rarely treat you poorly. There, like, Great Gyros is the only thing that actually nullifies Thunder, I think. Um, and Kirin, but fuck Kirin. Uh, Legiana is weak to, yeah, Thunder, okay. I think she can actually fight a low rank Kirin pretty soon. That's only some... if she does the, the capture quest line. Ah, uh, okay, you have to do that. Yeah, I haven't even tried capturing anything yet. I mean, it's easy. Especially for the capture quests, which give you all the materials you need. Are you uh, joining, Devin? 
Yeah, I'm just picking out an armor set, that's fine. Okay. Oh god. I did some horrific shit to this fashion. Um... <laughs> Occasionally, capturing would actually be uh, easier than actually killing the monster because uh, you basically get to skip like its like last couple percentage if you just capture it. I mean, you get to skip its last twenty percent if yeah. you're aware of when the 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 HP thresholds are. And is that from that when shit. it starts limping? Yeah, well, there's a bit beforehand, because like, like, the twenty percent threshold is basically where where it's capturable. Mm -hmm. I think it's like, uh, like twenty five or something. But like, yeah, generally, um, once it's limping, it's in a state where it can be captured, and you need to hit it with two trank bombs or trank shots if you're using a gun and uh, stick it in a trap of some sort. Also, you can hit go whenever. Oh, sorry. I brought dual blades, but I forgot that my dual blade set is like really fucky looking because I don't like I I was not using it for fashion. It is completely just a a, a garbage set that I put together for bandit mantling. So I look like a fucking psychopath. Look at this shit. I'm a skull. Food Oh wow. Right, where are we going? So, you know that area with the, uh... The camp right next to it that you got caught by Legiana in? Yep. That's the area where Legiana hang hangs out. There's also an area where it nests. Up top, but we'll get there. I don't know what the fuck skills this has. This is garbage. This is just straight garbage. Okay, whatever. I'm essentially using a hiring set for this because it was the only thing I had preset with a thunder weapon that wasn't just like extreme super powered charge blade crap. Oh yeah. By the way, running like a ninja Naruto run. <laughs> Appropriate. Did I miss something? How do you get up so fast? There's a wedge beetle. You can use wedge beetles by holding L down L2 and using circle when you can dark at them. I only brought my bandit mantle with me. I will try not to fucking die. No, that's not what I wanted to press. How do I play dual blades again? You, right, uh, that's how. Yeah, as far as so you hit R2. And you hit buttons. And then you uh, stop being in R2 mode when you're out of stamina. And then you hit buttons some more. You also never get hit by anything ever. <laughs> because you can just dash. What the heck was that?
Also, you're on a sloped surface, so what you what you do is you stand at the top and you keep sliding down until you hit the spinny thing. Oh, <laughs> fucking ice plate. Ah! Come on! Every time I get near the monster, it just fucking leaps in the air and I can't touch it. There's a solution for that, you know. Which is what? This is why you bring flash pods. That would have been useful to know sometime when I would have been able to do something about it. <laughs> I mean, you probably have some in your inventory right now because you've picked up flash bots or flash bugs. Yeah, probably true, actually. I just say always bring them. They're like probably yeah. the most useful item in the game. <laughs> Especially when you want to speed kill things and you just like flash pot it while it's trying to fly away. Yep. Oh, fuck me. I'm going to run away and get my fucking actual useful armor set. And by that I mean I'm gonna grab an ice proof mantle and nothing else. Is that material? You don't have a fucking camp here! God damn it, never mind. Sorry. Just wiggle my way back out of this area. What do I do about the ice? Do I just have to wait for it to wear off? You can use a Nullberry. I flying away. Okay, he's flying down to the, the Vigor Wasp area. Okay. I'm gonna go back to camp and get an actual gear set sorted out. And also grab my ice proof mantle. Ice proof. What the fuck are they? Oh. Fucking Seeky just flashed me right at the peak of my combo. Yep. That's what happened. I see. I always forget ZT's even in the game until it flashes me, and then I'm like, oh, this yep. thing shouldn't. This thing shouldn't be in the game. <laughs> I mean, I like, like I guess from like a design standpoint, I think it's kind of cool. Like, weird like raptor thing with like a weird like extreme bioluminescence kind of weird thing where it just flashes. But uh -oh. it's just that was bad annoying place to get play wise. No, oh, no. Bad plan. Get away from me. What? Does she just get knocked down a lot or something? Stop.
This one's definitely my least favorite of the uh, winged wyverns. Please, God, just give me some room to work! Okay, he's running. Didn't work. Trying to uh, flash pod lock the monster doesn't work very well when you don't have earplugs. Because it typically gets too far away by the time you recover. Mm. This up here is a wedge beetle. You can swing to it. There's wedge beetles all over this part of the map. Yeah. Makes it like way faster. Yep. Like this one where you just skip like fucking a zillion fucking steps. Ah, there you go. Yep. Yeah, you, d you just aim at them with the thing and you hit circle. And you can do that even midair, so you can chain them together. Yeah. Just, ah, this isn't the one. And they're just all over this zone, so you can like skip pretty much all the climbing. Yep. Whoops. Uh, I also have bombs. Wait for Becky, sir and I. Nah, you can go. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna be a while. <laughs> Holy shit! You're almost there. So you skip most of the zone already. Eventually. And you can use that web wedge beetle to skip most of the climbing on the big big wall. Also, Becky. You don't have to manually jump if you just hold R1 and point the direction. It'll do its best to aim you. You don't have to... Well, okay, some jump. indication of that in the interface would be nice, I'm just saying. I mean... What you, what you do when you want to go fast is you press the go fast button. Yeah, but every time I do that swinging from anything, I fall off. It launches you in precisely the direction you're holding. Which is never a good enough direction. Then get better at holding directions, because the game will do its best. You need to me match it. So there's mining outcrops up here. Yep. Someone just got a plate. That would be me. Sal, what are you doing?
Right, I think that'll do for tonight. Oh, really? Thank you for the help. And, uh, I don't know, is there a cutscene when we get back? Presumably there is. There might be? Yep. Yeah, not much of a cutscene. Anyway, that will do. Good night. Good night.